everyone, today in this video, I'm gonna be checking out Scepter's new 27 inch gaming monitor. Specifically, the model of this monitor is E275W-FW100T. Scepter did send me the sample, but any opinion expressed in this video is strictly my own. That being said, if you're interested in this monitor or you wanna find out more about it, the link to it will be in the video description. Now we're gonna look at a couple different UFO tests. First, with this test here, you'll see we have different frame rates moving across the display right here. So 100 FPS at 100 Hertz up at the top. Then we cut that in half, 50 FPS followed by 20 FPS here. What you need to know with these different frame rates is when you have a higher refresh rate monitor, if your system or your console can push those higher FPS values, your footage will be a lot smoother. Next, let's look at our UFO test to see if we can notice any ghosting. And it's very obvious looking at this panel that we are going to have ghosting here. A lot of blurring and smearing of the whole UFO, kind of just streaking across the screen. Next, just for fun, this is a simple test where we're just gonna browse the web with this monitor. Now, keep in mind, as with everything in this video, we have a camera pointed at the screen, so it's just not gonna look as clear or as sharp as you would see in person. So take it with a grain of salt. But anyways, wanted to show you how responsive your favorite websites will be, how good everything's gonna look, clear, crisp, easy to find, right? Load and watch your videos. Now we're testing out the built-in speakers on this monitor. So they're both rear firing right down here on the other side of the monitor. We currently have it maxed to 100. We're listening to the song Dripping With Ice by Music Chef. Music Chef is home to stream safe music for content creators. So this is max volume at 100. Next up, it's time for my favorite test here. We're gonna be testing out the input lag on this panel. So the lower, the better. That's what we're gonna to wanna to see here with our scores. So my arm's blocking a little bit, but we're in that 1.5 to 1.7-ish range. So 1.7 milliseconds there, followed by 9.1 milliseconds, 9.2 milliseconds for the middle. And then you'll see at the very bottom, right on cue, right at about 16 milliseconds. For those wondering about the color accuracy and representation on this monitor, we use DisplayCal here to run a couple of tests and you'll see our findings. So for our sRGB coverage, we're showing 99.2% and 113.2% for our sRGB volume. For our Adobe RGB coverage, 73.7% and 78% Adobe RGB volume. And lastly, for DCI P3, we're showing 80% coverage and 80.2% for volume. And the moment you've all been waiting for, how does this monitor do gaming? And don't worry, I have you console gamers covered as well. First, we have our PlayStation 5 connected right here. You'll see our video output information. We're getting 1920, 1080 at 60 hertz. So that's what we'll be able to get resolution wise with our PlayStation 5 using this Scepter monitor. And for you Xbox users out there, I got you covered as well. We have the Xbox Series X connected. You'll see looking at our TV display options, 1080p at 60 hertz is what you're gonna get with this Scepter monitor and your Xbox. 